Today we're going to be taking a look at a microphone that looks an awful lot like the one that I've got overhead, but it's from a brand of mics I've never tested before. This is the BC Master Professional USB Condenser Microphone, BCM1610 USB. Now the mic that I'm currently using here, it's a condenser microphone, and like I said, it looks an awful lot like this. It's the Focusrite Scarlett Studio Microphone, it's the, I think, CM25 Mark II. It is an XLR microphone, so comparing these two is not exactly a fair and even playing field because this whole kit costs about $200, whereas this microphone alone costs $45 on Amazon right now, but we'll just give it a shot. So for the microphone itself, here's a list of the package contents, but we'll get to that in a moment. You've got some specs and everything on the back. It does take five volts, has a sampling rate of 48 kilohertz, a bit rate of 16 bit. It is a cardioid polar pattern. Frequency response is 30 hertz to 18 kilohertz. So that's gonna be a bit narrow. Sensitivity is negative 36 dB. It does have a low cut filter built in, a switch on it. Signal to noise ratio is 74 dB. And of course you can always pause it here and just take a look at all the rest of the specs if you'd like. But let's dive into it. That's a bit unexpected, but nice. It does come with a hard side plastic case. And inside of that case, it's got foam padding all over. You've got the instruction manual, warranty card, what feels like a very thick USB cable, and this is USB-A, a mini tripod with the microphone stand and the adapter and everything. And they just screw together like this. There's also a pop filter that was kind of squished up in here and then the microphone itself. And as you can see on the front of it here, it shows that cardioid polar pattern. It has that low frequency roll off switch here. So you can just flip that on. Switch seems to be okay. You've also got a 10 decibel pad here. It's gonna cut it down 10 decibels. So if you want to use a really loud instrument or something with this, you can do that. And it's just an off on switch. And then of course your USB port here on the bottom, as well as the threading so that you can actually put it onto its little stand. Boy, that took a lot of twisting, but it did finally lock into place and it does feel decently solid in there. And of course, if I sit it down on the table, I can kind of adjust the angle at which it's sitting. And of course, if you want to use this, you can always put this over the microphone itself, but it's a bit of an odd material, so I'm not sure if it's gonna really do much of anything. There's what the material looks like if you're curious. It kind of just looks like traditional foam, but has a weird feel to it. Maybe we'll try it with and without. But I guess without any further ado, let's move over to my computer where I can plug this in, get everything working, and we'll see how it sounds. And here we go. This is a quick sample using the BC Master microphone. It's plugged into my computer and it's running through Audacity. I set it up to 48 kilohertz and I am sitting about 18 inches away from it. If you want it to be a little bit better quality, you'll want to be a little closer to it. So now I'm about less than six inches away from it. So it should be a lot louder as well as a lot more pronounced in terms of the very deep notes. I did a very, very brief test with this and it didn't sound all that terrible. It didn't sound like there was all that much hiss or background noise, but we'll stop and let you hear. Now there may be a little bit of hand holding noise there because I am actually, as you can see, holding it in my hand. And I guess just to sort of test the polar pattern and everything, I probably ought to spin it. So I'm turning it around, testing the polar pattern. This is kind of what Aunt Bandrew from Podcastage does. We'll spin it on around and we'll keep testing, see if there's a bunch of hand holding noise too. And we'll turn it up this way to see how that sounds as well. And I can see from the computer itself that it is definitely changing when you go off axis. And of course, the closer I am to it, the more it sort of spikes, but it's never going all that loud. It is coming through as a mono signal though, so do keep that in mind. You may have to duplicate it in post. Let's see if these switches also make a difference as well. So we'll go from the flat to the low end roll off. And now this should be with the low end, the bassiness rolled off, the rumbliness rolled off. And actually it looks like with that, there is less background noise with it turned on. So probably recommended, but I haven't actually tested what it sounds like. So we'll go ahead and turn that back off. And now I'll use the negative 10 dB switch. So now this is negative 10 decibels and looking at the computer, it is significantly quieter. So I can probably get even closer to it, which will give more proximity effect, but we'll go ahead and turn that back off. And I can see gigantic spikes every time I hit the switches in it. So maybe don't use those switches when you're in the middle of recording. And just to give a very quick test of this pop filter as well. I don't know if any plosives have been caught up to this point, but Peter Piper picked a peck of pickle peppers. And now we take it off. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickle peppers. Wow, it really spikes out weirdly whenever you say something like that close up to the microphone. And it didn't appear to do that with the foam on there. So that's pretty cool. But either way, I'll leave it up to you to make your own decisions as to what this sounds like, if it sounds good to you. For 45 bucks over on Amazon, I think it was 45.99, so 46 bucks. It actually didn't sound all that bad. I mean, compared to other microphones like the Blue Snowball, which are in relatively the same price point, it's similar. It's got a much smaller form factor. It's got a very 
nice build quality, a halfway decent little stand, and this foam thing if you really want to use this. This thing actually retails for about five bucks over on Amazon if you want one of these, although I've never seen one in this kind of material. I've seen things that are close to it though. So I'll leave it up to you. Thanks so much to BC Master for sending this out for me to take a look at. Thanks to you guys for watching. Hit the like button if you like the video or if you like the product or if you like just the way I presented it, that's fine. Hit the dislike if there was any part of that you didn't like, I'm cool with it. Subscribe to the channel though so you get notified whenever I do put out new videos and I'll see you again next time.